Hello and welcome to another video of Clarity Education Limited. So in this video I'm going to talk about the laws of exponents. Now this is a very famous chapter in it belongs to class uh, 6 or to 7 mathematics and it holds pretty much good importance in all fields that belongs to mathematics and in science. It, you will use it in your higher classes even in physics and chemistry and every subject you know. So it's pretty much important and we need to understand it. So the first law of exponent is that when you multiply two numbers that have the same base then the resultant will have the same base yet their powers will be added. As you can see in the screen the first law states that a to the power m is a number and if you multiply to another number which has the same base but the different exponent or it can be the same exponent in that case the exponents get doubled that's how they get added so when you multiply them the result you get is the same base yet the exponents get added now I'll be explaining you the proof it's quite simple so suppose I have this number suppose I have this expression a to the power m into a to the power n now you know the basic definition the basic explanation of exponents what does exponent mean multiplication many times suppose a to the power m i have i'm having a number that is a to the power m how did i get this number by multiplying a to itself m times by multiplying a to itself m times so in this case i'll write what a to the power m means it is simply a into a into a m times okay into so this is m times now a to the power n that's the same thing it will be a into a into a how many times n times that's how we get a to the power n and we are just multiplying them okay so this is dot dot a this is n times so imagine the result the result will be so you're multiplying something with the other number with another number so suppose i open up the brackets i i can safely open up the brackets because there's there's no there's no uh, fact of distribution or anything else because multiplication when you are multiplying two objects then you can use the associative property so i just open up the bracket now on opening up the brackets what i get is a into a into a it goes on till a but you need to imagine that here now we have m plus n terms of a which means that we are multiplying a with itself m plus n times because uh, it, it is constituted with one segment that has m a's and another segment that has n a's so in total how many a's do you have that you're multiplying with itself m plus n so it is this is basically m plus n times so of course by the definition of exponent you know that when you multiply a number by itself with a significant number of times that number of times becomes the exponent of that number so of course we can write this as a to the power m plus n now in order in order to make it absolutely clear let us proceed with a example with a very elementary example so let, let me just first write the standard result this is the standard result you need to remember it it's quite easy to remember so let us let us understand it clearly with an example for example I have 2 to the power 5 into 2 to the power 3 now what does 2 to the power 5 means 2 into 2 into 2 into 2 into 2 5 times 2 into 2 into 2 into 2 into 2 and what is 2 to the power 3 that is 2 into 2 into 2 that's what I'm that's what I'll be writing here 2 into 2 into 2 into 2 into 2 this is 5 times next 2 into 2 into 2 this is 3 times now how many 2's are you looking over here let me just first write it 5 times and this one is 3 times let me just write this again now how many 2's are you looking at here when you count from left to right, you see eight twos that are getting multiplied with each other. Five here, three there. Five at the left, three at the right. On total, you are looking at eight twos that are getting multiplied with each other. And how am I getting eight? By adding five and three. 
So this is the result. 2 to the power 8.